Hey guys, Captain Foley here with you again today. Uh, I know, look at that, it's the JJ Prize. Never thought I'd have one of those on my screen, do you? Not a cool, not a, or sorry, not a bad screensaver. I can't really complain too much. Um, so I started on these shuttlecraft. I got the white done on undersides of each of them and the top of the uh, inspection pods. On the inside of the inspection pods I've got the color copper because you'll be able to see through the window and I'm going to leave that little skylight thing at the top clear too to let some light in so that you'll be able to see through the windows there. So it's got the copper color inside um, and I got some of my worker bees done here, my work bees. So this video is just going to be, I want to show you how I did the work bees. I've got this one um, almost done. I got the front and the one side done. So I'm going to finish up the side on this one and I'm going to show you how I did it on this one. Okay, so let's get right to that. Alright guys, so here we go. Let's see what this is doing here. So I use this uh, Gundam marker. It's a fine tipped one. You can buy it at your local hobby shop. Sorry about all the noise and commotion upstairs. Dogs are a little bit stupid today. So, this tip is kind of going on me here. Hold on a second. There we go. If it's not working too well, I just run it on a piece of paper. That gets it going. It's doing the tri triangular window and then the little slit window right behind it. use a pair of tweezers to hold it but and here we go with the marker not working there we go black stripe down the back and the uh, top of it. And on the other side the same thing. I don't even know what I'm going to do with these worker bees, work bees, whatever you want to call them. kind of decided that um, my base, my stand for the, oops, my stand for this is, uh, I'm going to paint it, instead of the rust, I'm going to paint it the copper color. you got to be careful with uh, these tweezers that that'll happen, you'll have things fly out of your hand. Which is never good. There you go, there's the work to be done. Put him over here with the other ones. So got a little fleet of work bees. I um, don't know what I'm going to do with them exactly. I might put them on the uh, display stand. Might glue one or two on there, or just set them on. I don't know. Cause like I said before, I'm very likely not doing the shuttle bay on this Enterprise. I don't want to spend my time on that kind of stuff. There's the front window done. And there's this little spot under here that's black too. So I'll do that. Oops. 
see. Sorry guys, this is really hard to do looking through here. But we'll get her done. Just take your time. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. Kind of messed up on that one there. So what I'm going to do, I did that on one of the other ones also. So I just put a bigger window on this side instead of the little slit window. So I'll do that with this one as well. Great example, eh? That I choose to do for you guys and I screw it up. But okay. Still there's little numbers and identify my marks I might put on here. But I don't want to spend really so much time on these. They're just little work bees after all. But since I can't start on the ship right away, this is where my talents are going to have to be spent. Gonna end up holding this one. These um, black gunda markers they dry quick, so you don't have to worry about smudging. Smudging. So with the bigger window there, we'll just assume it's a different style of work bee. So I'll put that one over here with all the other ones. So there you have it, guys. There's my work bee task force. Now it's just a matter of um, getting the rest of these painted the flat white. And... Getting underway with that, they should be uh, should have the painting of those done fairly soon, and uh, then I can move on, get the decals done on them, etc., etc. So you guys go. That's a little work bee demo I did for you guys. Um, I know they're not perfect, and the one that I worked on for you was not perfect. So I apologize. I feel bad about that, but. Anyhow, there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. This is Captain Foley out. Bye-bye.